Well, good evening and welcome to the 2020-2021 Rexville Broadview Heights Virtual Open House. Um, I just want to spend a few minutes um, going over uh, my class, the expectations, what your kids can do to achieve at the highest level in this challenging year. Um, for, to begin with, I want to just introduce myself. It's been a couple minutes and tell you a little bit about me. Uh, I'm a graduate of The Ohio State University, uh, 1979. Um, I have taught here at Brexville Broadway High, High School for 41 years, so I'll be beginning, I am beginning my 42nd year here. Uh, during that time, I taught social studies and special ed, uh, and I have taught every single, I think just about every single social studies class offered in our department, except for maybe one or two, uh, from government and economics, to sociology and law, to world and American history, sociology, and uh, enjoyed all of them. Um, this year I'll be teaching academic American and honors American history, and I'll also be teaching psychology. Um, in psychology, this will be the textbook that we use. All, all of my students have already received one and they should have it at home or in their backpack. Um, I told them that unless told otherwise, they can leave them at home. Uh, if we're gonna need them for something in class, I told them that uh, I will try to remember to let them know to bring it. Um, for American history, they'll be using this book. Again, I've already passed out all the books last week, and all of my students have them either at home or in their book bag. They should have them. Um, last week, we, we went over the core syllabus, which explains all the expectations of the class. Um, I told them to, it's on my Google Classroom, so I told all of my students to have you go over and look at it. And if there were any questions uh, that you had, um, or them, that you could, uh, they could ask me in class or you can contact me um, and I'll give you my contact information in a minute. Uh, but you you do have access to the course uh, course expectations on Google Classroom. All of my assignments will be on Google Classroom, including a, a weekly syllabus that details everything that we're going to be doing in class. So they're all on Google Classroom. Um, We I just wanted to go through real quick and explain uh, with the with the limited time that we have in here. You know, obviously it's very challenging when you only have two days a week that you see the kids, but for the other three days that they're not here, they have assignments to complete, and uh, some of them will be completed right on Google Classroom, and that's where they would submit it. Some of them will be completed um, in their Chromebook or on paper, however they want to do it and they can submit that either through uh, share it with me uh, uh, via email or they can if they if they prefer even though we're, we're trying to limit the amount of paper and everything they could they could complete it and turn it in to me uh, if they want um, they are to check in with me the three days that they're not here at the time that they're supposed to be in class and just let me know give me their name the period number and then what it is they're working on and then I will check their name off in attendance and give them credit for being here. Um, we'll have a, a as far as um, evaluating evidence of learning, obviously with the limited time that we have in here, um, we're gonna try to make those even more succinct and more important. We will have a test every three weeks. That means only three during a quarter. There'll probably be one or two really short, quick quizzes in between just to check learning and make sure everybody's on the same page. Um, I have a retake policy, as most in our department do. Um, we're not sure yet how we're going to do that because we're trying to we're trying to limit the amount of time that we're having contact in any way that we can. So um, but here but my qualification is for retake. If if a student does poorly on a quiz or a test, um, and they know they can do better. They shouldn't be punished. They should have a chance to have another opportunity. So um, the qualifications are 90% of your homework turned in and completed and a 79 or below on a 
is their test. And if they fulfill those qualifications, they will then have the option to do a retake. Now, how we're going to do that yet, I'm not really sure. Um, hopefully, by the time we get to the first test, we're trying to work out the logistics because we're trying to cut back on the amount of time that we spend, um, you know, for social distancing and protection. But I'll work something out so that any student who wants to retake a quiz or test that they know they could do better on, they'll get a chance to do that. Um, this retake policy is not for students to say, oh, I don't feel like studying tonight, especially now when they have three days at home and they have plenty, plenty of time to study. It's for, uh, you know, say, oh, I don't really want to study. If I do, I do poorly, then I can do a retake. Um, it's for students who are, who are really excelling and are really trying hard and want to do well. Um, they can sign up at the designated time. And again, I'm not sure when that will be, but I'll have that in a week or two and then they can come in and do the retake. Um, you know, I just want to leave you tonight with, the, with one last comment, is that this is a team effort. It's me, it's your kids, it's you, it's the administrators, it's the counselors. And if there's ever a problem, ever a concern, something you want to contact and talk to me about, please feel free. You can call and leave a message at 440-740-4855, and that will be a message, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours to the best of my ability, or you can email me at smithd at bbhcsd.org. I look forward to working with all of you. Um, if you ever, again, if you have any questions at all, this is, this is short. Um, we were told to keep it with about seven minutes. I'm there now. Um, I know there's not a whole lot of information, but if you have any other questions, please feel free to uh, email me and I'll, I'll fill in any missing information I can. Um, Thank you to everybody. I hope that uh, this is a great school year. We're going to make the best of it. And um, everybody have a great evening.